Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have GCD with 906 rating versus Mario Tosio 02 with 1127 rating, and this is going to be another high rated DB video, and hopping right in, we will go ahead and we will see uh, GCD win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, and they'll decide to go first 40 versus 45. Opening hands, we have Imperm, Bloom Vulture, New Orleanus, uh, Raiders Wing, and Rank Up Magic Skip Force. They have Wanted, Bonfire, Ash Blossom, Imperm, Poplar. Alright, cool. So we have some type of Snake Eye deck with 45 cards in the deck uh, versus Raid Raptor. Now, I am going to read over these cards since I doubt a lot of you have even heard of these cards, like read over them or anything. Uh, but alright, so starting off with Raid Raptor, Bloom Vulture says, If you do not control any face-up monsters other than Wing Beast monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand and one Raid Raptor monster from your hand. Then its graveyard effect is if you control no monsters, you can target two level 4 or lower Raid Raptor monsters in your graveyard, including this card. Special summon them in defense. You can only use one Raid Raptor Bloom Vulture effect per turn, and only once that turn. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck. Um, wait. Oh, it's not even just the extra. You can special summon monsters this turn, except for dark monsters. Okay. And then, now we have New Orleanus. Um, this says, during your main phase... Also, that really won't matter, because the entire deck is dark, anyhow. Um, but now we have New Orleanus during your main phase. If this card was normal, summon or special summon this turn. Uh, you can target one Raid Raptor monster you control. Add a Raid Raptor monster with a different level than that monster from the decks of the hand. Then its graveyard effect is you can banish this card from your graveyard. Increase or decrease the level of all Raid Raptors you currently control by one. You can only use each of those effects once per turn. Uh, Raider's Wing, you know, we've seen this in Cash Tier at one point. People try to, uh, it's always a uh, Phantom Knight and Raid Raptor card. And then, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can attach one material from a dark XYZ monster as cost. Special summon this card out, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use that effect once per turn. And if you have a XYZ who is dark, um, and this is a material underneath of it, your opponent cannot target it with card effects, so it can dodge stuff like Imperm on your Raider's Knight. And then rank up, skip force, target one Raid Raptor XYZ monster you control, special summon from your extra deck, one Raid Raptor monster that is two ranks higher than that target by using that target as the XYZ material. And then uh, during your main phase, except the turn that this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card and one Raid Raptor monster from your graveyard, then target one Raid Raptor XYZ monster in your graveyard and special summon it. Alright, cool. So now we're going to go uh, activate the Bloom... Wait, if you do not control any face-up monsters other than Wing Beast monsters. Uh, can you start with this? Wait. If you do not control other than Wing Beast monsters. Huh. I thought you would have had to control at least one Wing Beast monster to even activate that effect in the first place. Other than Wing Beast monsters. Okay, I guess, you know, if you control no monsters, I, I guess that is just how it works. Okay, I guess I had read it wrong before then. Okay, so special summon, special summon, overlay, go up in the Raider's Knight, and then activate the effect, attach, can't impermit, read Raider's Wing, idiot, yep, okay. Now they're gonna go ahead, <laughs> make Brave's Tricks, and then, yeah, I don't know, people just don't read the cards that they're playing against, which is crazy. Uh, activate the effect, attach to go ahead and set the Raid Raptor Spell Trap. We'll go over this one too, alright. Uh, Raid Raptor XYZ monster that has this card's material gains this effect. Yep, just gains attack. But, its other effect is you can detach one material from this card, set a Raid Raptor Spell or Trap from the deck. Then, if this card has a Wing Beast monster as material, detach to go ahead and set a Rank Up Spell or add a Rank Up Spell. Uh, and you can only use one of the following effects of this. So we're just going to go ahead and get the Raid Raptor Spell or Trap. We already have the Skip Force in our hand. Uh, so we're going to get access to Roost. This card's actually pretty nice. This card says if a Raid Raptor monster is special summoned from the extra deck to your field, except during the damage step, you can add one Raid Raptor Spell or Trap from the decks of the hand, except for Roost. And then you can target three of your Raid Raptor monsters that are Banisher in your graveyard, place them on the bottom of the deck in any order, and then draw one. And you can only use each effect of that once per turn. So activate, and then activate Skip Force. So we're going to make the Arsenal Falcon. And then we're going to go ahead and go Arsenal Falcon Effect to Detach. Um, so we don't use this to go ahead and search. Okay, I guess we don't have anything to search. Maybe we don't play the other cards for it. I mean, it's not like these deck lists are like standard yet or anything. 
Um, so, okay, they ash that, the special from deck, and then normal summon out the New Orleanius effect, target itself, chain imperm. Sure, that was definitely a misplay. Now they're going to go ahead and link into Wise Tricks, and then uh, Arsenal 1, Roost 2, Wise 3. So go ahead, special summon out the Mimicry from the deck. Go ahead, search out the Glorious Bright. And then from the extra deck, we're going to summon out a Force Trick. So uh, the Mimicry, this is like one of the old ones. Uh, so says, once per turn during the main phase that this card is normal summon, a special summon this turn, you can increase the level of all Raid Raptor monsters you currently control by one. During the main phase of this card is in the graveyard because it was sent through this turn, you can banish it to add a Raid Raptor card from the deck to the hand. And then the trap says, if you control a Raid Raptor monster, target one face of monster your opponent controls. Or if you control a Raid Raptor XYZ monster, you target one face of card your opponent controls. Negate that card's effect until the end of this turn. Then you can banish this card from the graveyard, then target one of your Raid Raptor monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. Add it to your hand, you can only use one effect of this card per turn and only once that turn. So, uh, now they're going to go ahead and they will go ahead and set off of the wise tricks. So that's going to set the uh, rise, rank up, magic, raid raptors, force. So during the main phase or your opponent's battle phase, target two or more raid raptor XYZ monsters you control or in your graveyard, including the monster on the field. Uh, if at least two remain face up at resolution, special summon one Raid Raptor XYZ monster from your extra with a rank equal to their combined ranks. And if you do, attach the targeted monsters to it as a material. And then this is treated as an XYZ summon. Also transfer their materials to the summon monster. You can only activate this once per turn. Okay. And now it said not activated. Now just letting you read. Okay. Now force tricks effect. Detach. Go search. Grab out the... Uh, Singing Lanius, which is just a free special summon. Overlay, make Force Tricks. Then Force Tricks effect, attach, go search out the Strangle Lanius. And then this card says, if you troll a Dark Monster, special summon this card from your hand, but then, you know, you're locked in the darks for the rest of the turn. Uh, if you troll a XYZ Monster with a, or if you troll XYZ Monster with a Dark XYZ Monster as a material, you can target one level four lower Raid Raptor in your graveyard, special summon it, but its effects are negated. So now we're going to go ahead and they're going to try to activate this. Um, and then, okay, we're going to activate. We're going to target the wise tricks. Huh, wait. We're targeting wise tricks? thought I had to target XYZs. Um... Oh, oh, maybe they meant to say, like, brave tricks? Okay, okay, so go ahead. They're going to summon out the Rising Rebellion Falcon. So, this card is unaffected by other card effects. If this card is XYZ summon, you can destroy as many cards your opponent controls as possible. And then, if this card has three or more Raider after materials with different names, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the combined original attack of all destroyed monsters. Once per turn, you can detach three materials from this card, target one Raid Raptor XYZ monster in your graveyard, and then this card gains that effect until the end phase. So now we can go ahead and copy the Arsenal Falcon, but we're going to summon out the Strangle first effect, special summon back out the Raider's Wing, overlay, make Evil Swarm Nightmare, and also, you know, it can't be targeted because it has the Raider's Wing on it. Uh, then activate Mimicry to go search. Go ahead, search out Pain Lanius. So... Uh, this can't be used as an XYZ material, except for the XYZ summon of a wing beast type monster. This card is in your hand. You can target one Raid Raptor monster you control that has a level take damage equal to its attack or defense, whichever one is lower, but your choice of tide. Okay, it's the same thing. Uh, if you do special summon this card, and if you do that, this card's level becomes that current monster's level. Okay. So, like, if you target a level 4, this will be level 4. So, now we're going to go ahead, detach, copy Arsenal Falcon, detach to go ahead and summon out the Tribute Lanius, and then this effect will go ahead and dump a Raid Raptor card from the deck to the graveyard. So, now effect. Um, that's going to go ahead and dump the Heal Eagle, and you can banish the card from the graveyard, target one Raid Raptor spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So, now they're going to go effect, banish, grab back the Rise Rank Up, Activate Pain Lanius, lose 400, summon out, and then Overlay to make Force Tricks, and then Force Tricks effect, attach, go search out Tribute Lanius for follow-up, and then we're going to activate this effect of Roost to go ahead and put back, and then draw, so that draws into a Ghost Bell, and then set the repass. 
Okay, they draw Imperm, Imperm on Evil Star Nightmare. Once again, you can't read the cards. What do you do at Raider's Wing? Yep, they go ahead and admit defeat. Like, oh my gosh, I get it. The deck's not popular, but like, it literally came up 10 seconds ago. But all right, so now going on to the next game, we got New Orleanius, Mimicry Lanius, Samorg, which is just a free level four. Uh, Droll and Imperm, they have Summon Limit, Bonfire, Birch, Bonfire, Flame Bridge. So, you know, this deck can definitely go first. But going second is a lot harder, especially when, you know, I mean, going second against Summon Limit's always going to be hard. Uh, but activate Bonfire, go search out Snake Eye Ash, but we do have Droll and Lockbird here, which is huge. Normal Summon, Special Summon, and then make a Link Karibo, Snake Eye Ash, Send, bring out Flame Burge, and then Flame Burge Spell and Trap Zone, the Snake Eye Ash, and then set Summon Limit, pass, the Droll Ghost Spell. So just setting up Follow Up plus Summon Limit. So now here, they're going to go main phase, normal summon out Noor Lanius, effect, and then that's going to go ahead and search out for a Pain Lanius, Pain Lanius, special summon out, lose 500, and then on that, they're going to activate summon limit, set imperm, try to pass, activate flame birch, summon out snake eye ash, snake eye ash, go search poplar, and then poplar effect, summon itself out, poplar effect, go search for divine temple, and then pass, they draw Wanted, so they can just get rid of Summon Limit if they want to. Uh, activate Wanted, go search for Black Witch to let that go through. It's like, yeah, even if you Bell that, they have Snake Eye Ash to go ahead and send and summon out anyhow. So now activate Divine Temple, bring out Oak, Flame Bird, Spell and Trap Zone, the Noir. And then Special Summon out Black Witch by Sending Oak. Effect, go set Original. Original, send Divine Temple to bring out Snake Eye Ash. Okay. And then does not even use that. We're just going to go battle phase. Um, That's not game though, right? Or is that... Yeah, that's not game. So we're going to put him down the low. Huh. That didn't seem very good. We could have maybe original send Poplar. And then leave the field spell up. And then that would have been game. Or something like that. Okay, buddy wanted in the summon. There's just no punish for this player. Ah, uh, they were supposed to lose this game. They literally just took the game and they threw it in the opposite direction that they were supposed to. Draw some morgue. Said, God, it's another one, isn't it? Imperm on the flame burge. Normal summon. Effect. Normal summon. Summon limit. Wow. There's no shot that they just... Don't get punished for somehow messing up game. And they should have just got rid of summon limit in the first place. And then like really tried to go for game I think. Or leave the summon limit there and still try to go for it. But now we got Bloom Vulture. Called by Tribute Lanius. Strangle Lanius and some Samorg. They have Droplet. Black Witch. Oak. Draw and Lockbird. And Bonfire. Okay cool. So they have no hand trap. And then they have Droplet to try to break the board. So, they're going to go activate Bloom, Special Summon, Special Summon, Tribute Lanius Effect, go down Mimicry, and then we're going to go up in the Raider's Knight, Raider's Knight Effect, Attach, bring out the Brave's Tricks, Brave Tricks Effect, Attach, go search out the Rank Up Magic Skip Force, drop the Drill and Lockbird, Chain Called By onto that, yep, unfortunate for the opponent, activate Rank Up, go up in the Arsenal Falcon, Arsenal Falcon, Detach, and then special summon out the New Orleanius. New Orleanius, go search out for Heal Eagle. And then Heal Eagle effects, summon out. Okay, now we're going to link off up in the Wise Tricks. And then one, two. So we're going to summon out Ultimate Falcon. And then go bring out Raider's Wing. Wise Tricks to go set the Rise Rank Up. Overlay up in the Force Tricks. Ultimate Falcon, Detach. This doesn't do anything, right? Uh, also, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, I guess that does do a little bit more than I remember it doing. Okay. Uh, detach to go search. So, they're going to go search out the Singing Lanius. And then Mimicry effect. Uh, banish, go search out Roost. And then activate Roost. Activate Rise. And then that's going to go ahead and Special Summon out. And then activate Roost Effect to go search out for the Glorious Bright. And then they're going to go Detach, Copy Arsenal, Falcon, Strangle, Special Summon Out, Effect, Bring Out from the Graveyard while they still have 
a dark XYZ material. So bring out Raider's Wing, go up in the Evil Swarm Nightmare, and then detach, go summon out Fuzzy, and then Fuzzy, whenever it's sent to Graveyard, can go grab another copy of Fuzzy. So special summon out the singing, and then make Force Tricks, Force Tricks effect, detach, go search out Tribulaneous. And then now we're going to go Heal Eagle, Banish, grab back the rank up, and then Roost to go put back, and then draw one. That draws into Droll, which we can't use because called by. I was going to say otherwise, that would be really strong, just like once again drawing into a hand trap off the draw one. But set, pass, they draw evenly. Wow. Okay, battle phase, end of battle phase, activate evenly, chain glorious, bright to go ahead, try to negate, chain droplets, so that way, you know, it won't be negated by this. And then we're going to shut down the Evil Swarm Nightmare. They're going to chain the rise. So that's going to go ahead and make... Just a huge body and then banish everything else. Okay. Uh, so they're reading over this. Yeah, it's unaffected by other card effects. Um, and then obviously it has the other effect for next turn. And then also it has Brave's Tricks on it. Which means that it gains 100 attack per rank. So it's going to be at the 53 here. And then we have Fuzzy under it that can get a search. Whenever this card sent to Graveyard, probably should have just detached Fuzzy last turn instead of the other cards. That way we could have got Fuzzy to go ahead and search, right? But activate Bonfire, search out Poplar, then activate Poplar effect, go summon, okay. Poplar effect, go grab Divine Temple, Divine Temple will now go ahead, bring out Ash. And then Black Witch, send Snake Eye Ash, summon, go set Original, Original, send Poplar, bring out Snake Eye Ash. And then we're going to go 1, 2, so go search out Kurikara. Is this mandatory on summon? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, then they're going to go ahead, spell on Trap Zone, Snake Eye Ash, Send, bring out Flame Burge. And then now we're going to go link those off up into a Dark Charmer. And then Flame Burge effect to summon back out the Snake Eye Ash and the Poplar from the graveyard. Dark Charmer, bring out the Singing Lanius. And then make Princess, Princess effects, summon out Flame Burge. Yeah, and then go up in the Sunlight Wolf. And then make Link Karibo, Sunlight Wolf effect, grab back the Snake Eye Ash. And then turn those into a Heat Soul. Heat Soul, pay a thousand, go draw on the Veiler. Uh, normal, summon out Oak. Yeah, actually, we want Bonfire and the Poplar. Okay, so bring out. Uh, the Poplar from the Graveyard, then turn those up into a IP, then pass turn, they draw Swallows, Calorie, which is the card that we've seen in Flu, you know, Tribute goes search one at the same level. Oh, uh, so now Heatsoul, pay a thousand, draw on the Bonfire. Sure, so main phase, we will now go Normal Summon out Tribulaneous, they said okay, Effect to go Dump. That's going to dump a Mimicry, so they play multiple Mimicry in their deck, okay. I guess that makes sense why they didn't put this one back then. And then Mimicry, Banish, go search out Strangle from the deck to the hand. Uh, Strangle Lanius, summon out, they said okay. And then Strangle Lanius effect, go ahead special summon back out the Raider's Wing from the graveyard. Then on that summon IP effect to go make SP. And then now we're going to go SP Flame Burge, Chain Swallow. So Tribute the Raider's Wing, go search out for Bloom, and then they're going to summon out the Oak and the Ash, the new chain link, Oak and Ash. So go search out Poplar, and then summon back out Poplar. Alright, uh, now Overlay to go make a Force Tricks. Yeah, uh, on that summon, Princess, Chain Link, Karibo. So you know, Princess, Target, Poplar, Force Tricks, Chain Link, Karibo. Uh, oh, they're not chaining Link Karibo. Okay, I thought they were, so that way they could get the free Link Karibo out, but it looks like they decided not to. Uh, so now go Rising Rebellion effect, copy the Arsenal Falcon, and then effect, detach, go summon out Tribulaneous from the deck, and then activate some Morg. Okay, okay, they said, okay, yep, yeah, they did declare that. Okay, some Morg effect, bring itself out, overlay, make Force Tricks, Force Tricks effect, chain SP to banish itself, plus Force Tricks, and then chain Veiler, that's chain link 3 onto Force Tricks. Now, activate Rank Up, uh, banish itself, plus a Raid Raptor, summon out a Raid Raptor XYZ from the graveyard, battle phase, 
uh, beat over Link Karibo, they're going to activate the effect. And then now we get the Redeclare, it's also not at zero because it's unaffected. So we will beat over Princess, Arsenal Falcon, attack into a Heat Soul, this is at 28, we're at 25. They said, I'm silly. Okay, pass, I draw one for one. Sure, Heat Soul, pay a thousand, drop into an Imperm. Oh yeah, also SP uh, Force Tricks are supposed to come back, yeah. I was just thinking, did we play Underworld Goddess or something to directly out this? Because um, I thought about it before on how decks actually out this card. And one of the ways I was thinking is like using Whale. Because Whale gains a bunch of attack, but a lot of people are now cutting Whale. So it's not like you can just like make a bunch of links, link off, beat over. I guess like if they play Axis Code, uh, Whale, Underworld Goddess. Like there's a few extra deck cards that can get them there, but obviously they have to be playing them. So they're going to go search out Poplar, Drop Droll, make the Raging Phoenix. Raging Phoenix is also another way to do it. Yep, that's another way to get the attack up. So now we're just going to go ahead, yeah, Raging Phoenix, World C, World C, Banish, Special Summon back out. Um, They would have to get a bigger body on field, but I guess that's not hard to do, right? Just Oak Sun and Self plus Flame Burge, Summon Flame Burge, and then go ahead and do that, and you can out this. Yeah, like having just like a random Towers with no interruptions, like obviously isn't going to be good enough. Um, like, as I just said, there's, like, four, even five different ways that the deck might be able to out it. But, yeah, if you can have, like, multiple towers, plus, like, an Evil Swarm Nightmare, plus the trap, then it's solid. A lot of people also aren't playing, like, that many hand traps in this deck. Uh, but I have seen, like, some lists, uh, like, the list that topped the remote to a regional, they were playing, like, 15, which is, like, definitely, uh you know, better than some of the other lists I saw that were playing, like, six, which obviously just isn't real playing six going to second cards, uh, especially with the engine not being, like, that strong going second, um, but also evenly definitely hurt there, evenly definitely hurt them a lot, that top deck evenly, um, but realistically, like, oh, man, this player got pretty lucky, I'm not gonna lie, like, game two drawing the summon limit off wanted after misplaying, game three top decking the evenly, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Alright, seen how long the match was. It was 41 minutes long, and we finally got a Raid Raptor replay. Oh my gosh. You know how hard it was to find this deck? It was impossible. Nobody's playing this deck right now. I could find more stun replays times 10 than I can find this. But, alright, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace, have a nice day, stay safe.